if there's a really bright light right here or if you hear background noise, but it has been storming for the past like three days and there is no opportunity to film this when it is not dark, dreary, gloomy, and pouring down rain. So I'm sorry if you hear rain noises or if this is really, really bright light, but I have like a day lamp on so that you guys can actually see everything, but maybe the rain will be relaxing. So I got the mini mystery bundle and I got it for my birthday and it came, it said it would either come with one regular size journal or a pad and it came with one regular size journal and so far I haven't looked at anything so I think it's um, just a regular white pages which is what I wanted because I don't use blackout or craft nothing against them I just use a lot of watercolor and so I would prefer to have just the white pages so this was part of the mini bundle and I'll look at that next and then I also got stickers in the mini bundle which I will zoom in on and then it came with three individual markers which I'll also look at next and then this I bought separately so for a while I have been wanting to get a B5 and I got the um I believe it's Autumn Equinox is what it's called and so because I've had 192 pages and I've had the regular um journals but I haven't had a B5 and I almost got the spring um collection that was like the two really big journals with like all the stamps and everything and I almost got it but I stopped myself because one of the journals was like lined and then the other one was um, leather and I really prefer having the canvas just for myself because leather I feel like scratches and gets dirty easy and especially with like me painting and everything and me like packing my journal away like if I get like a stain on here I can just like wipe it away with water so this is the 192 pages and then this is the regular, like, 160 pages, so you can kind of see all in box so we can compare them. But first, I'm going to unbox this one, and then I'll get into the mystery bundle. So I haven't even looked at these yet. So one thing I like about Archer and Olive is that they usually come in, um, like, an envelope kind of thing. I already took it out of that because it was, like, soaking wet. Um, but they come in these nice boxes. So that like when they come, like sometimes like this will be bent, but I know that like the journal itself isn't damaged whatsoever in shipping, and that's one thing that I really like. And they've really uh, minimized. One second, I'm trying to like, make sure not to cut anything. They've really minimized um, the amount of like packing that they actually have. Whoops, I tore right through it, so I should probably um, zoom in. Yeah, so that's. Whoops, sorry. But you guys will see it here in just a second anyways. I'm excited. I've been considering getting the B5. Um, so I thought I'd try a B5 first. And then if I really want the really big journal that was in the subscription box, I would go get it. So yeah, so it comes like that. Zoom back out a little bit. Oh, it's so pretty. You kind of can't tell because of the lighting but it's more of like a deep blue so like this is like a bright blue and it's a really deep blue but the gold is absolutely stunning so let me get it out so that's what it looks like and I will see if I can zoom in okay, see it so it looks like black because of the lighting so I'll have to get another angle at it um, but it's just a really deep, like, cobalt blue. It's huge compared. So, like, I'm kind of glad I didn't get the other one because this is already kind of big. But I'm glad I didn't get the subscription box because it would have been way too big. But, like, this is the size comparison. So let me zoom out a little bit. Sorry. It's not the best cinematography right now. But, so, like, that's kind of the comparison. Same thickness. Except this is just has been used, so like on top of each other. Yeah. So now you can kind of see the color. It's like that kind of like cobalt blue. So oh, I'm so excited about this. And of course, it's all Archer and Olive journals. They have like the pocket and the ribbons, which I'll show. I'll go ahead and move to the next one. So that was just a separate purchase for myself. 
And then this is the mini mystery. So I'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit. So it came with stickers, which you can see here. So it has like time for self care, priorities of rest, one day at a time. So that's kind of cute. It's not stickers I would usually go for, like bright colors. Usually I go for stuff that matches my themes. But this, I think I could use this because I definitely need some self care spreads. And I thought about doing like a self care bingo spread. And so then, let's see if I can zoom in. It looks like I have a gold, like a kind of bright green and a purple, which I'm excited about. So I will unwrap those, they're all plastic, kind of like clean film, so I'll unwrap those separately and do swatches of those separate. So then this is the journal. It says, it looks like it's the little white rainbow one, which is not one I would normally get. I usually like kind of getting, like as you can tell, I usually get like these. But it could be interesting. I don't know if I said it already, but the big B5 I'm planning to have as the second half of my 2021. Not very smooth, but oh, it's pretty. So it's white. So it is like a pleather, which I'm a little iffy about, and it is white. And as I've said before, I am the most like accident prone, getting paint everywhere. Oh, it kind of matches my nails. Huh, that's neat. So I'll get this. And it's like silvery, like holographic. Oh! Oh, no, no, that, that's pretty. The pages are white. Oh, that's neat. And, of course, let's get the... Oh, there's it's silver instead of gold. Oh, wow, that's neat. I kind of like this. I don't know how I will like the leather. So I'm interested about that. But I really like this. So it's got like the white, that's nice. So I'll have to, um, I'm a little iffy about the white leather, as I said, but that is really pretty. It's usually nothing I would ever go for. Usually I go for kind of the um, astrological and like, so I've gotten the morning sun, I got the green plant one, and then I've gotten the normal like Big Dipper one that she has. And then I got the autumn equinox, and then I got the falling stars. So this is a lot different. So maybe I will use this for 2022 20, beginning. I don't know. Maybe. So I've taken a look at these, and these two are 3mm, and this one is 7mm. And as much as I do love the Archer Nolf pens, I was hoping to get 7mm, so I'm kind of glad to get this and try it out. Because I like the 3mm well enough, but I've always wanted these for finer detail, so I'll be starting these and checking them out and see how they look on the paper. So this is the 7mm one, and I believe this is either from the primary or the jewel tone. But as you can see, it's really pretty. I really like it. It's really bright. A lot brighter than nor I would normally get. But as you can see, the line is much... Um, thinner compared to the 3mm. Sorry that there's a kind of glare when it dries. It should <laughs> look so bad. And then this one I believe is either from like the regular primary. Um, I think it's just the green from the primary. And this is the 3mm. And then this I believe is from the Tropical Collection. When I was looking at it, I think it's the one that's bright purple. And I'll wait till those dries and then so that there's not a glare so you guys can see them. So now they're pretty much dry. This one's almost dry, but those are the colors and they kind of match um, the stickers. And they actually kind of match a lot of the spring colors that I've chosen. So maybe I'll end up using these for April and kind of do like a bright springy April theme. April theme? Sorry, I can't speak. Um, 
but I quite like them. I really like this purple. I'm really surprised. I thought that this yellow would be my favorite, which I do love this yellow, but this purple has really surprised me. Um, I had a family member that always wore this color, and it's like kind of a um, periwinkle purple a little bit, and so it's my favorite color purple, kind of that lavender purple, so I'm excited to use this. So looking at the mini mystery bundle, um, I got stickers, which I have gone and now looked everything up, and I paid $45 for the mini mystery, and individual pens are usually $5.29 each. So for three of those, I believe it's, let me double check, that would be $15.87 for just the pens. And then I've gone and looked for the journal, and the journal itself is called Rainbow on White A5 Cover with Dot Grid Pages, and that's a regular $35. And then I've also gone and looked, and this is called Pink Bit Stickers, and they are usually $8.50. And so, with everything, let me add it up. It should be around $59. So, I paid like $49, or $45, and it's about $59, so it's about $60. So, for $20, bucks, like less, you're getting the same amount. So, I would actually recommend getting the Mini Mystery if you're not really caring what kind of stuff that you get. Like me, I was a little bit worried about getting the craft or the blackout, and I thought, well, I'll go ahead and get my journal for the end of 2021, and then if I get another journal, that's great. Um, so we'll see, but I have to say that I was hesitant about getting a mystery bundle, and I'm really glad that I did it, because I think it's really neat, and it's sometimes it would be stuff that I would never pick out. So like this, I would normally never get, because of like the leather and it's white. But it's actually like really growing on me, and I'm kind of excited this would be kind of neat for our 2022 like beginning of the year usually I always go with gold always and this is kind of a silver tone that would be so pretty for winter and spring so we'll see um, I'm also really excited that I got the B5 and I went and looked this one up I couldn't remember the exact name of it in case you're interested um, it is called B5, Auto B5 Autumnal Equinox Dot Grid Notebook and so yeah, I'm really looking forward. I'm really excited with everything that I got, and I've been wanting to do more, like, more pages. I do, like, have more things on one page, so I'm interested in how the B5 will be for the second half of 2021, and that will probably be in August or July. Um, I am right here right now, and that's about, like, halfway through March. So this is like tracking pages to March right there. So I think I could probably get April, May, June, and then I think July will probably be starting with the bigger journal. So we'll see about that. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this unboxing. I'm sorry if it was like chaotic and everything. I have not been on social media at all lately. It's just life has been a little hectic. But I've gotten a bunch of bullet journal related things recently, which I'm going to show you in another video too. I'm trying to up my bullet journal game a little bit and get more organized and hopefully spend more time making video content for you guys and posting on Instagram. So um, yeah, there's just the, this is the Archer and Olive unboxing and I probably won't be doing another one until the beginning of next year. Um, unless I do a subscription box, which I'm considering for Christmas, but we shall see. I hope you guys are having a great day, and happy bullet journaling! Bye!